Hi, today I want to do a first impression demo review video of the new Tarte Holidays brush collection. This is a 5 limited edition gold brushes. Or, um, this is the box that comes with. So you get 5 full size brushes with the gold handles and then the makeup bag that comes with it. And this is 44 bucks, 44 dollars, US dollars and uh, 53 Canadian dollars. Uh, retail value for this whole set is supposedly $156. So last year's holiday brush set comes in this really beautiful um, gold and lavender makeup bag. It's like pretty big. It's kind of like a travel toiletry bag. And then um, I did the review on my channel last year. So if you're interested, you can take a look at it. But of course, it's already like out of stock because it's only like a limited edition holiday set but um, I really like last year's makeup um, brush set um, especially with the bag because it also came with like five different brushes now this year's bag um, I think the only dupe for this year's um, makeup brush is probably the this one the big one which is I believe is called um, Buffer Airbrush Finish Foundation Brush. I think that's like a really popular, uh, really good foundation brush. It's huge. It's like, um, it's really nice. So it also comes in this um, year, this year's holiday set. So if you got last year's holiday set, um, the only dupe you would probably get, uh, you get um, is this gigantic big buffer airbrush brush. Um, and then also the difference is that last year's brushes they have the gold um, connecting part right there but then the handle is actually supposedly like a made of bamboos so um, it looks more natural but it's very sleek and then there is like a dual ended brush whereas this year's there's no dual ended brushes also the bag on the other side I think it's really neat because it has like this um, mesh kind of zip lock zip um, zip up uh, compartment where I can put all my tart other like tart stuff inside um I believe I also got the uh, the lip set from last year or maybe the year before so I ended up putting all of that in here this year's theme seems like it's kind of you know art deco retro art deco inspired it really reminds me of like the great Gatsby Gatsby the great Gatsby type of theme um, really cool um, so let me just Take out this from the box. So um, this sequin type of like um, rectangular box or makeup bag. Um, it's really pretty. It has like black, uh, copper, gold, and uh, I guess pewter or gum metal all over it. So it's very festive very like New Year's Eve you know and then the bottom is actually pretty sturdy it's not like the you know just like a soft fabric type of um, bag from like last year this one has more of a structure to it you had this like a cardboard kind of back supporting it and then the bottom is really flat this I feel like it's more of like one of those vanity type of um, stuff you know it looks really pretty it sits sits nice and sturdy on your vanity and then there's like a gold zipper pull and it just like goes around in the entire bag and then uh, once you open it up this is also like I guess plastic or cardboard so yeah and um, this doesn't really stay so that's kind of annoying um, and it doesn't have a mirror or anything so it's a really nice I guess like a storage box or something and then um, the brushes, it's all like packaged in this like purple tissue paper. And inside is basically kind of like a satin um, type of fabric and in the, like a nice soft pink color. So let's unwrap the, this. Um, so yeah, this year's brushes, they're all in like this really pretty gold type of like um, handles. So they're... They they don't feel like heavy or anything, so that's good. Um, anyways, so these are the brushes from this year's kit. Um, 
I don't know, I don't like the way they packaged this because when they wrapped everything like this together, like the hair looks all like horrible. I mean, do you see that? It's like the shape is like kind of destroyed. Um, and then this, I don't know. Oh, but I do like Tarte brushes. I think they're really well made and good quality. Um, so once in a while when they come up with like brush sets or let's say QVC sometimes has like these exclusive like um, foundation or concealer or palette or something that come with a brush, I will get those so that I can at least get the brush you know sometimes I don't even care for the product um, but I really do end up liking the brushes so I do like their brushes um, these are I don't know if they're sounds like plastic or metal I guess um, but anyways let me just go through these with you the best-selling the buffer airbrush finish foundation brush so I got the same thing from last year's set and it came with like a bamboo handle right here um, so yeah it's really soft but it's also quite dense um, it's kind of like the uh, the Sigma F82 or 81 not the flat top kabuki brush the slightly rounded top kabuki brush I forgot the I think f81 or 82 but this is much larger so it makes um, you know like applying foundation very easily uh, very fast and quick so that's what I like about it but it's kind of hard to clean because the there's so there's so much like bristles in here and it's so dense so it's kind of hard to clean this and get all the foundations out of the you know the bristles but it is a really nice foundation brush and I'm, on second thought maybe I won't try this one I will just use the same one from last year so I don't you know get this one dirty um, maybe I'll just you know I don't know um, I don't know I don't want to get this one dirty because um, I might give this to a friend or family member or maybe even in a future giveaway um, so I'm not gonna use that one I'm actually gonna use the one I got from last year with the bamboo um, handle so just don't get confused it's the exact same brush it just that it has a different handlebar and I'm going to just apply um, foundation of my face. I'm going to have a review of the new Tarte uh, rain, rain in, Rainforest of the Sea water foundation very soon. This is not available for purchase yet. Oh, maybe it's only available on QVC, but it's not like officially officially released on the Tarte website. Um, I only got like, you know, I pre-ordered this when it came, became available on QVC. And it came with a uh, brush, a dual-ended brush, actually. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like this. So I'm gonna, you know, have a separate review from uh, review video coming up soon. Um, I have tried this out for like, I guess, the past two weeks already, um, and I'll give you more of an in-depth review instead of like a first impression review on this particular foundation. So yeah, um, anyways, I'm just gonna, I like how it has a pump. So this is not really like a foundation review video for this particular one. Like I said, it's not available yet. So this is a really huge foundation. I think it's, it cuts your foundation routine like in, really in half because. So yeah, it's like a really quick, it's like one and two, I'm done type of thing and it's really nice and then if anything I'll go back in with more with like some fun uh, concealer is there a concealer brush here yes there is a concealer brush so I guess we'll move on in order and I believe this is the concealer brush and actually there's no names on these particular brushes so um that's the only bummer but you kind of like figure out what's what anyway I hope this is a concealer brush because there's an eyeshadow brush and there is a concealer brush and um, this brush is huge I'm not sure if this is eyeshadow brush or if this is an eyeshadow brush I feel like they can both be concealer and eyeshadow brushes um, depending on how you look at it because 
um, this is like really flat and synthetic so I feel like it's nice to kind of like spa conceal and then maybe like buff around the, um, the area to kind of make it airbrushed but it's also nice to lay down cream shadows or whatever um, on the mobile lid because it's it's you know pretty flat so like I said you can do use this either way um, I feel like maybe this is the eyeshadow brush but it's huge for an eyeshadow brush because it's like a angled angled brush um, if you can see it's like angled um, and I don't know it just it's huge you know like I don't know like hmm but I feel like if you need to conceal larger areas like under eye, you know, the upside down triangle in the front of the face, um, you can probably even like highlighting with this brush. Um, not sure if this is synthetic or natural bristle. Looks like a natural bristle brushes. Not sure, but it's very, it's pretty like fl fluffy, but it's also kind of tapered to the end. Um, so I don't know it's really confusing since there's no like absolutely no names on these whatsoever they do look really nice and sleek um, so maybe I'll conceal large area with this brush and then because I don't know I mean I have like I don't I have hooded eyes so I have a lot of like space around here but I'm not gonna like what about you know I don't know I just still think this is huge for applying eyeshadows um, I feel like maybe this will give like one sweep of an eyeshadows and then blend out a little bit but you can't really do any like detailed works uh, with this maybe I would need to use this for detail work I'm not sure but let me see uh, let me just try and see if I can hopefully figure something out because it is a demo video and I'm trying to demonstrate the use that I can get out of these different brushes. I'm gonna use the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum um, concealer and I guess I'll do the typical um, under eye large area concealing in front of concealer brush or eyeshadow brush they can say oh angled because this is an angled brush so if they put angled in front of one of these brushes i will at least have a clue of like which one is for concealer and which one for eyeshadow but like i said i'm gonna use this one since um it seems like it can do like a nice job for buffering out the concealer huh actually it's pretty good for buffing out under eye area I might go back with this uh, when we're when I try to buff out some eyeshadows like blend out eyeshadows on in on my eyes we'll see that I don't know okay so there are two other brushes one is the complexion brush which is like a this dual ended not dual dual fiber type of brush and then um, there's the fluffy Br uh, blush brush which is very skinny like tiny pinched on the bottom and then comes up to a point but it's also quite full on the side so this is really interesting I feel like this might be a good brush for highlighting um, or maybe apply really like soft blush or highlighting I feel like highlighting or maybe really soft blush because it's really like really really soft um, yeah, I'm, I don't have any like blush brushes like this. It's a really interesting shape So I feel like if you have really bright um, blushes, this will be a really nice kind of like a dusting kind of bl uh, Brush to just lightly dust on a little bit br um, blush but um, What am I gonna do with this? I can use uh, this with a blush it's a complexion brush, so this will be good for buffing your foundation as well as um, I'm not sure about powder. I never apply dual fiber brush with you know I never apply powders with a dual fiber brush unless it's like for blush because it gives a really nice soft diffuse blush color. Um, but I think I'm gonna use this for a cream blush. So I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna use this 
as a highlighting kind of brush. So let's see what color blush. ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Satin Finished called Prenup. And I guess it's kind of like a rosy color. I guess I'm just gonna see if I can apply this blush with this dual fiber brush. So yeah, I'm just kind of like swirling uh, and picking a product and then I'm just going to stipple it onto my cheeks. Um, you know, this type of like dual fiber stippling brushes gives more of a, gives more of an like airbrush look. So yeah, it looks really nice. You know, the fact that it really just blends out the edges. And so I'm going to apply highlighter. I'm going to use the Becca shimmering skin perfector pressed powder in opal i have a little size of this so i'm gonna use the fluffy blush brush and i'm going to because this is a really shimmery highlighter and you don't want to apply too much of that so i feel like this will be really nice and i'm gonna shake it off a little bit and uh, i'm just going to fluff this might be too soft for applying highlighter because usually you want to you know might be too soft because it really it's like really soft but um i guess when you don't want too much of a highlighter this might be really good i know the lighting is kind of weird right now so i don't know if you can actually see but you see that it gives like the most subtle type of like highlighter color look, you know, especially, you know, with this type of highlighter is like so, can be so strong when you apply it with like, um, more dense type of brushes. So I think this is like perfect for applying highlighter when you just want like a glow from within type of ethereal kind of look. Cause I really like how it looks. I did that JLo like, um, red carpet makeup and I think I used... Uh, Mary Luminizer and I use a different brush and then just gave me like a really strong highlighted look but if you want that kind of strobing technique or lit from within within kind of glow uh, look then this br uh, blush brush is really really nice I think it's very subtle for like yeah for daytime highlighting okay so now this br uh, this brush can be a concealer or eyeshadow I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow brush I'm gonna use the ColourPop um, Super Shock Shadow in in Cricut, which is a metallic finish type of um, um, purpley, plummy, taupey color, I guess, with like lots of metallic and shimmering it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to use this as an eyeshadow brush and see how it works. Oh, maybe I'll just try to blend out the edges with like the tip of this brush and see if that works. Since this brush is just way too big, I feel like it's hard to even work with it. It's awkward to work with it as an eyeshadow brush, but let's see if the tip of this brush can work as a blending brush um, for this cream uh, for this eyeshadow. But the synthetic brush works pretty fine. It's okay, I guess. And then for my lower lash line, I'm just going to like, you know, put some products like right on the tip of it. So um, I'm just going to apply this on the lower lash line. I think a lot of people, they do the same thing. Like you're not restricted in any way to use something in certain ways unless unless it involves like I don't know safety issues um, but something like makeup brushes um, I feel like there's a lot of flexibility to it you know so if a blush brush works for you as a foundation brush then so be it use that as a foundation brush um, if a um, if an eyeliner brush works for you as a lip brush, then use that as a lip brush. Um, you know? So, yeah. Uh, this is pretty cool. I put, like, a second layer, a little bit more dense, just along the upper lash line. Um, because I feel like I buffed out the color of the bigger brush a little bit. 
this brush I don't think I can use it as a blending brush not that much but um, it does kind of blend out the lower lash line pretty well not bad no I think it's pretty good cool I just did my whole face um, we well, already applied some lip products earlier so um, so I don't look too dead because sometimes without lip product lip color I feel like I look really really sick and dead so um, I put some lip tint before I did this makeup and uh, if I just put some coats of mascara then I think I'll be done okay so I quickly apply some mascara so you can see a little bit more definition in the eye area but this is just one shadow type of thing um, I love Colourpop eyeshadows because they are great for doing one eyeshadow look especially with like something metallic and shimmery they give so much dimension to it anyways um yeah i like this brush set um i think my favorite brush from this set this whole set um given that i already own this brush um i like it it's pretty good it just pain the ass to clean it um i always like a nice dual fiber um buffing dual fiber like stippling buffing brush because it's really multi-purpose you can use this for liquid um, cream foundations or liquid cream even powder blushes um, and highlighters so you know dual fiber stippling brush is always like my favorite type of brushes this is really great um, I probably my favorite is this one because I really don't own anything like this um, it's so soft and it's so like feather light weight um, and it just gives me the most natural daytime highlighter like effect and two brushes I'm still really confused but I feel like they're kind of multi-purpose because you they can both be eyeshadow brushes or if you have like really large eye space um, might be good for you but I still feel like this will be a good brush to like uh, chisel out the contours and uh, maybe contour the side of your nose I think this will be good for co contour the side of the nose because it's a perfect size and then it's great for you know like blend out large areas of concealing and highlighters um, you know like cream liquid highlighter um, yeah whereas this one's definitely good for powder highlighting um, I'm not sure if this is good for liquid or cream highlighter because it's too too soft way too soft to even like pick up any product or even blend out evenly but this is a nice really chubby brush I don't own anything like this either I think I have maybe something similar to it but not this big not this chubby and then this is like a standard type of like fun day no concealer or flat eyeshadow type of like synthetic brush which I think is really multi-purpose as well put like everything in here everything just like fits really nicely in this case um, but it's flat so it should sit on your vanity sit on your table or desk um, I don't recommend like taking this for traveling because then your brushes is gonna get like you know moving around and then it's gonna damage uh, ruin the, the, the bristles the hair um, so yeah I feel like it's a really nice value um, I don't know about you but usually I think the Tarte comes out with really cool holiday sets uh, I especially like their brush sets um, so this year is no exception I the only Tarte holidays collection that I'll be reviewing this year um, I get too overwhelmed with all those holiday makeup sets um, and I feel like I don't know there's just too many out there I I am going to have some, um, you know, I, do, I am going to have some, like, very few holiday collections set from uh, Too Faced and Stila's uh, that's coming this way, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.